Today we're starting with a slow, immersive walk through our little community. And if you didn't know how to do this, if you put on your caps lock, you just put it on and then walk around, it makes you walk slower like this. So as I'm walking here, you can see the speed. If I turn caps lock off, I speed up, turn it on again, and I slow down again. Thanks, Rudolph, for opening the gate for me. Oh, you, you were playing a little drone for me there. <laughs> All good. All good, Rudolph. Anyway, uh, so what we want to do today, we're going to make a hunting encampment, a bit of a, a hunting outpost, if you like. And there's a few reasons I want to do this. First of all, we actually don't have anyone hunting at the moment, so it'd kind of be good to cover that. We also don't have a herbalist hunt, herbalist hunt, herbalist hut, I should say, at the moment. And I'd like to change that too and get someone out there collecting all the stuff the herbalists do because it will be used for all kinds of different things as we progress through. The other thing as well is we want to start to future proof a little bit. So as you can see, we've got a lot of people here at the moment. And we are farming for food, which is great, but the farming also needs to cover other things like animal feed. And as our town grows, we're going to need more and more food. So having the hunters in there will help with the food. It'll also obviously get us things like fur and leather. And that's important too, because we're going to need that for making things like clothes or better bags and stuff like that. It's used in a lot of things, and we do need to start automating those resources rather than relying on ourselves to do it. And I think this could be quite a fun little project. So the first question is, where do we want to actually make this? Now, if we go to the map right here, scroll in a bit, and we can click up here to get the wild animals selected. We need to see, like, where are their uh, actual hunting possibilities? So I want it to be somewhere that's, like, near our town, which is, of course, here. Um, but at the same time, uh, we want it to be in a good, nice location to make the building look nice. So there is this spot down here, which we can check out, which is near these rivers. And this does have some added benefits because there are fish here as well. So we could do like hunting and fishing in the same area. Although I did consider it might be nice to build a separate area for like a fishing hut. So we're not sure about that one yet, but it's a consideration. It's also on the way to Piastovia. So we a lot of like to and from here, um, obviously our town here and Piastovia there where we could check in on it and just see what's going on and get resources and stuff if we wanted to. So that is also a thought. Uh, there's also this location up here. Now, I believe this is going to be quite a beautiful location because the waterfall is just there. So it's just sort of up from there a little bit. So we'll check that one out too. And then finally, I was like, I bet you there is a location somewhere around here, right? It just, there's no animals here. We haven't explored this. So I want to check that out because up here, you can actually look down on the town and that's really, really cool. Like from here, it's basically up on top of that cliff. So it would be a hunting community up there would be sort of disjointed from this and have its own sort of feel to it. It's its own hunting commune. And we're going to put up like houses well, houses or house or something up there, somewhere for people to live anyway and stuff like that too. So it's like a proper little colony of its own. Um, but it would still be near enough to this and feel part of this. So what I'll do, I'm actually going to explore all of these locations on camera. Uh, so that if you're doing something similar yourselves, you can see the locations that are nearby to this town and uh, where you might want to build. So let's start off with that and then see how we go from there. This is location one on the map. So if we open the map up, you can see where we are. We're just in here. And, you know, it's like I say, there's some strategic advantages to it and stuff. And it's not like a bad looking area or anything. But we do have these in the background, which if we're trying to make our own thing, we're having these here too, it just detracts a little bit from that, I think. Um, and it's just very sort of like generic medieval dynasty terrain, right? Rivers and trees and a bit flat and stuff. But I think we can do better. I think one of these other locations will be good. And by one of these other locations, obviously, we only have one confirmed. But I feel pretty sure there's going to be something up there. We're going to head here now to location number two. Let's see what it looks like up there and compare it to this one. And uh, once we've done, uh, like, been to all three of the locations, then I will choose one and we'll get started with the building. Here we are now uh, getting close to location number two. And you can see already this is a much nicer location. We've got this flowing river that comes all the way down here like this. And it leads into another river, which is actually the waterfall for our town. So over on the left there, we've got a small waterfall, which is really, really nice looking. And here we've then got the bigger waterfall. And look at this for a spot looking down on the town, guys. Actually seeing this as I'm here, I'm thinking, this would make a great spot for my house. Uh, so at the moment, my house is that big one down there that you can see. But I think we could potentially move up here in the future and, uh, and just lord it over the rest of the village. <laughs> but it would be a really nice spot for the house. So... Yeah, that's one consideration. We don't want to build the hunting camp here if we end up, uh, you yeah, know, if we're going to do our house here. But we could go further back here. So, I mean, th there are some really nice spots around here with this uh, winding river coming through and stuff. So, yeah, this is, at the moment, this is my preferred location. Now I'm going to head over and see about number three. And we need to get a bit of luck here. We're going to need, uh, let's see, it's probably a bit more. Uh, there's the building. It's like up there somewhere, right? Yeah, we need a bit of luck because we, we're going to need to find an actual hunting spot over there whether a deer nearby. Now, I will say uh, I, I'm pretty certain that you don't actually need to have your hunting lodge built 
Oh, there's clay here. That's interesting. So there'll be a lot of clay deposits here. Okay, just to mention this then, guys, on the map near this crossroads, there's clay. So if, you, if you're playing at home and you're looking for a, a clay uh, deposit in this area, then there's that one. Yes, I don't think you have to have the hunting spot near uh, like any sort of particular place, like near animals or something. But I do think it, it's kind of nice to have it that way because then the hunting lodge, like as part of the decoration, if there's a load of moose and deer and stuff like that running around nearby, would look really cool. Now, surely there's going to be moose that spawn in this area. Let's have a little look. Let's have a run around, see if we can find any. Okay, over there, guys, there are some indeed. So on the map right now, have I opened that up? Uh, oh, fantastic. Yes, there we go. Okay, so there's that there. It's a little bit far away from there, uh, but it's not horrendous. Like, if we keep that ping, it's 100 meters away. So if you think about 100 meters in real life, how small that actually is, like a 100 meter sprint, that, that's quite doable. And here is the location. Now, oh, this is the only issue. Because of this path, we can't build on that side, really. So it wouldn't be looking down over this little town here as much. I mean, although potentially we could do some things here. Like, this is actually kind of bigger than I realized. And we only need a few buildings up here. This could be good. Although now I look at this, this right here, you come up here, and then you've got this big flat spot with trees and stuff. This would be a really nice place to build it. And from the edge here, we do still have visibility over the town. But it's important to remember that this community here is obviously our current town, but we're expanding over there, right? And you're going to have a good view of over there for sure. So I actually quite like this spot right here. And then let's have a look around here. Yeah, look at this. So then you could like come up through here. This could be the way out and you come down here and do your hunting. Obviously, this is a bit of role play. This doesn't actually happen because they just walk to their hut, I believe. They don't actually go out and hunt the animals. Although that would be an awesome addition if they did that. I, okay, I like this spot, guys. This is where we're going to choose. We're going to make our hunting spot up here. This is going to be good. Now, I need to think about the best way of doing this. And my big question really, let's see, was it was it here? Yeah, it is here. All right, so I want to mark this on the map so I know where to come back to. Yeah, my big question is like the buildings that we build here. Do we need a resource storage here? The, the big benefit of having the resource storage here, uh, well, actually, there's a couple. Let's see, if we go to resource storage number two, see, it's a very big building. That's my only thing, because I'm trying to make a small sort of hunting camp. I'm not entirely sure if this is going to tie in, but there are there are spaces here for it, so we could build it, especially if we took down a couple of trees over there. Um, what I want to build here is obviously like the hunter's hut. So if we go into buildings in the uh, hunting section here, we've got this hunter's lodge, right? It's quite a small building. Similarly, if we go to buildings once again, and we go to the herbalist hut, another very small building. So you can have like two of these small buildings, maybe just like a small house up here as well, and then like a campfire, and that would be a really nice feel to it. I think the resource storage is going to be too big. It would be good to have because it would make building the thing a lot easier because we just go in there to get the resources and bring them out. And on top of that, uh, we have extra storage space, which we're going to need in the future. But all that being said, I can't bring myself to do it, I don't think. The only storage I would look at putting up here, though, is a food storage, because, yeah, look at that. That's another small one. I think we go for small buildings and give it a real encampment sort of feel. So let's start putting that together. And uh, I'm, will I time-lapse this whole thing? I don't know. Let's have a let's, let's just find out together with the next clip. <laughs> I've been doing some work on the hunting camp, as you guys can see here. So let's have a little look around it now, and I'll show you guys what I've built. The most obvious thing, of course, is that we've got this gateway. So we unlocked this in the previous episode and didn't use it. And I thought now would be a good time to use it as an entrance to our hunting camp. And then we just go for this log fence around the outside here, which I had to pay about 800 coins, I think it was, to unlock that. Uh, but I think it's worth it. It looks pretty good. I wanted to have it as like a walled-in community and something that looked kind of sturdy because it's out here on its own and uh, they would need some protection, I thought. So on the inside, we've got a few things going on. We've got this here, which is the herbalist hut, of course, so we're going to get a gatherer in there soon. And then behind here, we have one of our houses. I went for log effect houses rather than stone. I obviously, uh, I know stone is better, you know, better insulated and stuff like that. 
But I think the log cabins just like look nicer for a hunting sort of effect up here, uh, for this hunting community, I should say. And also, um, you know, it's it's a little bit, actually, it's not really cheaper because we've got a lot of stone to build, but uh, we, we had a lot of logs, so we used them up a little bit. I think that was a good idea. Uh, then we got, the, obviously, the, the hunter's hut. We, uh, we need to have that one. Then, let's see, over here, we got another house. And the reason I've done that is if I open up the technology screen here, you'll see that on survival, we're just about to unlock the next level of the hunting lodge. So then we'll have two people that can work there. And uh, then eventually we'll have the Herbis Hut level two as well. So we'll need two people working in each one so we can have a man and woman in each of these houses and they can be the little hunting community that live up here. So that's why I decided to go for the two houses. Uh, and then this right here is a food storage area. Now, if we go inside the food storage real quick and open this up, you'll see here that at the moment, we're using 150 out of a possible 1,500 kilos, which is, I guess, 750 per storage, because we have two of these now. Um, actually, this might be a food storage level one, and the other one might be a level two, so this might have given us an extra, like, 500 or something. Whatever it is, the point is we've got this huge um, spare amount of food that we can store uh, that we're not using, but we will be using it in the future, so I wanted to future-proof that a bit, and I thought having another functional building up here would make the camp look a little bit nicer, to, to sort of have you know, more buildings going on. And it, it just makes sense that like you hunt the food and then you can immediately get it into the food storage. I thought that'd be cool. Now, what I've done is I've unlocked a ton of different uh, decorations that we can take a look at too. So under the decoration section, under workstations, if we go to hunting, there's all of these that are now unlocked and we're able to build all of them, which we're going to do soon. But the first thing I want to do actually is go up here to the wooden campfire. We're going for a wooden sort of theme here, so I thought this would be good. And we're going to make a little town square, a bit like we did before. And I'm actually realizing these logs are in the way, and I'm probably not going to be able to carry them, am I? Let's see here. Okay, they're just going to be a bit in the way for now, because we can't pick them up. <laughs> so what we'll do, the wooden campfire, I think roughly where these logs are is basically where we want it. It's like a central point near that tree. So we'll place that one down there. Do I have a torch? Not on me. Okay, we will uh, craft that up in the future, though. Then I wanted to get some sort of uh, benches and stuff around here. So we've got this log bench here. So let's see, a we'll place like you can go like there i guess and then let's see let's place another one maybe just over here somewhere could be good it's a little bit finicky because the train's so uneven okay we're going to place it down here because it's just not fitting anywhere else and then we'll mix it up and we'll build something a little bit different here so uh these these actually seem great these little stumps to me that's like uh you know the sort of thing you'd expect to see at a hunting place is there a spot for them yes there is so we can place one there maybe one there as well so it's more than we'll need but they'll have a choice of different chairs to sit on around this little fireplace. I think that's kind of nice. I like the way they're all different distances away from the fire and stuff like that too. It just kind of makes it look nice, I think. Uh, now, the other thing we want to do is give... Oh, actually, that's cool. We've crafted a torch. Um, that's not at all what I meant to do, but it does mean we can now light the fire, which will make it look a little bit nicer. <laughs> so there we go. What I actually wanted to do was under, let's see, decorations here, lighting these things, right? I want some torches. So I think we should definitely have a torch over at the entrance. And you could go one either side, but I kind of like just having the one torch here and it being just a little bit darker because it's like less lit up. I think that makes more sense for like a hunting camp. So then we could have like a bit of street lighting. So maybe we'll have one just outside this house and we'll have one down here outside of this hunter's hut like this and maybe just a final one outside this house. So just give a little bit of lighting for this place at nighttime. I think that'll be nice. And we'll check out what it looks like at night as well. I think it looks really cool during the winter, actually. It's just coincidence that it turned winter as we were like building this but uh, it's kind of a nice little thing that I have going on in the winter these are the hunting workstations as you can see here we've got just like tons of different options so we just want to place down pretty much all of them uh, i think having something outside the hunter's hut here would be good this is like the the workstation for that let's see if we can find somewhere maybe to the side of the building here could be good man there's such an even terrain here that's the only thing it's been hard to build um let's turn him around <laughs> and see if we can get him yeah maybe just there would be fine Place that down before I lose the spot. Okay, cool. And we're just going to keep doing this for some other things. So maybe now we can get down some of these tanning racks, potentially. Uh, we've got to see, obviously, if we can find a place that they'll actually fit in. They look really cool, though. That's pretty nice. Um, could have them over here, maybe. Yeah, this might be a good spot for them. So just have one there like that. And then we'll place some next to them. Because I think that sort of makes sense, right? Like, what, Why am I going to the wrong place all the time? It's because I'm trying to multitask when I'm talking and doing this at the same time, right? So we've got the goats. Let's have a wolf one here as well. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, that doesn't want to live there. Um, okay, we'll put the wolf one like up here maybe. Yeah, I think that's that's a good spot for it. And then we'll do the final one, which is, right, let's go to the right place this time at least. This is going to be bearskin, pretty cool. 
but Vesk in one there. And actually, it kind of looks nice for them scattered around the camp like this for giving the feel of the, uh, the hunting camp. Now, let's pick up whatever logs we can. Oh, my goodness, we're burdened already. Okay, I need to get these back onto the horse and stuff. We'll sort all that out in a second and see how it looks. Uh, let me see what other decorations we've got, though. I believe I'm missing at least one of the hunting ones. Um, yeah, this archery board here. We need logs for that. Okay, let me sort that out. Okay, so we've got this little archery board here, which is pretty cool. I think it sort of makes sense for this one to be outside of here, though. Uh, I don't think you'd want to be shooting arrows around inside, right? So maybe we'd have it... Uh, let's see. We could have put it, like... I want it to be somewhere nearby. I think we could have a road over here. It could just be a bit off the road, like up here somewhere, but it's just finding a spot. Okay. Oh, actually, okay, so it fits here. Maybe we'd have it here, but facing that way. Let's get it up there a bit. Yeah, I'll place it down wherever I can get it to fit now. That'll do. <laughs> so have it like that. And then I was thinking what we could do here is build a bit of a gravel road. So the road will come like just into the compound from like up here somewhere. But it will kind of wind its way up through here, purposely making this quite a curved road. And then over down here, because this is where they're going to go off and do their hunting. Oh, how far can we get it down? Let's have a look here. We can get them down this way. Then we can just about get it to here. Okay, and then it's, so it's purposely having to snake down. That's actually quite cool. It comes down like this. Okay, and then like to here. So that's cool. So this is going to be like a little road. Like, obviously just role-playing this a little bit, but they come down here to do the hunting, so that's where we saw the deer before. Then they've got the camp over here. So, yeah, it's starting to take shape. It's starting to look uh, reasonably nice. We obviously uh, need a few other things that we need to do. What I want to do, though, is make a little camp down here, and uh, like, like a really tiny camp. And this is going to be like a little sort of workstation area. So if we go back into, let's see here, buildings... Uh, not buildings, decorations, campfires, a wooden campfire once again. Let's place that just down here, maybe. And uh, let's go ahead and light the fire. Now, we're going to have two hunters. So what I thought we could do is have two seats for them, right? So we can have these single chair things here. We'll make one like this. We need to get some sticks for that, and we'll make one like this. So these guys here, this is where they have their lunch break. Oh, oh dear. Can we not place it here? Okay, we can if we got there a bit. I'll, uh, I'll move this all around. I was just about to head back and change this all around. And look at this, guys. We have buffalo over here, too. So this has actually turned out to be a really good um, hunting spot. Now, they said uh, discovered a spot here for wisents. Now, let's go on here. What is a wisent? That is that thing I'm calling a buffalo. There's not buffalo in the game. Um, so I thought these were buffalo. They're not. But that's so, so cool. So this is all now in this area, which is awesome. And, uh, yeah, a pretty happy accident because we knew there were deer in the area, but we didn't know about wisents. So... Yeah, turned out really nice. I just went back down to my town to get a few more resources to continue building some decorational stuff up at the hunting lodge. And that is it up there, guys. That's how it looks. So from down here in the town, it looks like that. I think it's actually pretty cool. It sort of overlooks the town and it gives a bit of character in the background. We've got the hills and stuff still, but then we've got something else going on up there. And it's just a very subtle thing in the background as we're walking around here that you just barely notice up in the top of the screen there. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. And uh, if you, I I've seen quite a few comments from people who have said that they've actually built their towns in this exact location. So uh, if you're considering building something up on top of the hills, I highly recommend it because uh, I think it's a nice location, both from the town itself, and obviously when you're up here, you've got fantastic views. You can see the ride up here. You've got great views of the town the whole way up. Now, let's see what we can do here in terms of decorations on some of these houses. So we've got these like walls here that you can decorate on the outside with shelves and things. And that actually might be quite nice if we can do that and put some things up on the shelves. I'll try that out later. But what I wanted to do is get some of these moose skulls and things up. So if I want to decorate here, yeah, here we go. Okay, cool. So let's see, deer trophy. Man, it's 500 to unlock that. Well, we need to do it. And we're going to do the moose one too. Oh, no, we're not. We can't afford it. Okay, right. Deer trophy is going up there. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, and let's see. We could do it on the other wall as well, potentially. Or there's some shelving might be better. Let's go over to the other house and do it over there too. Uh, but obviously for a hunting sort of area, it makes perfect sense that we do this. So uh, I really wanted to do that because I haven't done these yet in, in any of the other ones. I do want to add more decorations and stuff as we go through. Now, I don't think we can add decorations to these walls, can we? Unfortunately, the walls of the uh, the work huts, not the houses. It'd be really nice if you could do that. Doesn't seem to be happening. However, I do have another idea. So this right here is the hunting uh, lodge area, of course. So what I want to do is let's get a deer skull and just chuck like one of those down on the floor. Then if we hold down E, we can grab it, and then we can go and place it down like on the floor here, like that. There we go. That's kind of cool, right, to have that outside. And you know what? We can also do that with the moose skull. We can't place the moose skull yet, but we can do that. So we chuck it on the floor, and then we'll grab it up. We'll place that just like down there. Just, you know, hunting carcasses. It makes perfect sense, right? <laughs> That's great. Okay, now we're going to head up this little winding path. It's a bit hard to see this path in the uh, winter, but uh, it does come on down here like this. And then it sort of finishes here, which I think is fine. 
and then we're gonna have the campfire just here so uh, i've gone and got myself some more firewood so now we should be able to make this up with this okay great so we'll place it down like that maybe cool and then let's go here and we want to go to seating and get these seats here and I need logs and I need sticks. All right, let me just grab that real quick. I've got them over in the horse. Okay, so let's build this up again under seats here. And then they've got like a seat each that they, uh, they have one each they prefer. Oh, come on. Let me place this somewhere nearby. Okay, it will if I place it here. Man, this terrain is difficult to build on. Just bear with me a second. Okay, we can get it down there. That's fine. I wanted to have it where they were both facing that way and looking at that view. But uh, this is going to have to do. They've got the view in the background, I guess. <laughs> they've got the view all day. So, yeah, they've got this little thing here. Now, let's see if there's anything else we can build just to make this look a little better than it does. Okay, I'm going to buy one of these things, a firewood pile. And I've also unlocked this here to put back at the camp. But I thought a little firewood pile over here could look nice, like maybe just down there. So that's their wood there waiting for the uh, campfire to be stoked up. I think that's pretty good. And uh, we'll keep looking. We'll see what else there is. Now, traps. We should probably put some traps around here, too. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? Uh, and maybe some containers. Uh, not sure about containers necessary here, but like around the camp maybe. Let's keep looking. Okay, I'm just going to build a very simple stick fence just going down like this and then along the back here and maybe just up like that as well. Yeah, just like that. Just to like encompass it a little bit, give it something to look at. I need to get the sticks for it, but I think that'll be nice. So this is just like a little thing they come out to during the day when they're doing the hunting and stuff. And like I say, have their lunch break and things like that. So yeah, I thought that'd be a nice idea. And now that we are back at the uh, camp right here, let's go to the workstations again. And we can place down a simple lumber station. So maybe we could have that going on over here somewhere. Uh, yeah, okay. So just like, just like there, like that little lumber station right there. And then what I wanted to do as well, if we can find the space for it, is to build a lumber pile. So that is a firewood pile that's kind of small. Let's do a bigger one because we did the small one already for the other place. Um, yeah, there we go. That makes sense. Let's just get it. So it's such a few little green areas. There we go. There. Well, it's done. So they chop the wood up here and stock it there. And then that's for uh, stoking up the, the fire and stuff like that, right? Which uh, isn't stoked up. <laughs> there we go. So I think this is turning into quite a nice little camp up here. All we need to do now is head off to the campfires around the different towns and find ourselves uh, one hunter and one herbalist for now. That's all we need for a minute. And then obviously as things uh, progress, then we'll get more. And look at that, the lights have just come on. Okay, cool. So now we can see how this looks. That's really nice, isn't it? Just a subtle amount of light. Uh, we need to wait and see it like in the heat of night as well, or the, the dead of night might be a more accurate way of putting that. But yeah, this does look pretty cool. So we're still going to need to get ourselves some workers up here, a hunter and someone for the herbalist hut to gather things. But we're going to do that in the next episode. I am over in Hong Kong still at the moment, so any of your comments and things I'll be catching up on in future episodes. I will definitely still read them, and I do appreciate them, so uh, please do keep them coming. Uh, but yeah, just sort of explain that. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.